tremendous, tremendous work. We'll see you in a few years, okay? When you go to St. John's or Syracuse, you let us know. <laughs> Coming up next on Tiempo, music to your ears. Meet the pianist from Argentina as she prepares for a very special concert at Carnegie Hall and how the money raised from all the ticket sales will benefit the Latino community when we come back. I'm Al Roker, and New York is my home. There's no place like it in the world. When the season turns to fall, my favorite places are just a stone's throw from Manhattan. Lots of great weather, and even more great history. Plus, plenty of arts and culture. Amazing fly fishing, and a Halloween party that... Three standing ovations. Annual checkups. The Medicare enrollment deadline for New York is December 7th. So call Empire today at 1-844-331-7998 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. was a performance by world-renowned Argentinian pianist and Steinway artist Rosa Antonelli at Concert Hall at Carnegie Hall, excuse me, back in 2011. She'll tell us more about that performance, but it marked the first time a Carnegie Hall pianist performed a repertoire exclusively of Latin classical composers, all Latinos. And now she returns to Carnegie Hall for a very important benefit concert. Joining us this morning, Rosa Antonelli. Bienvenidos. And you got Three standing ovations, correct? Three standing ovations. My, yes. oh my, yes, that must was... have been... Me paran los pelos, ¿verdad? Yes, oh. yes, it is. So touched. Yes. For me. Now you're back, three mm -hmm. years later. Mm -hmm. This is a benefit concert for who? Who, who? who benefits from your performance? It will benefit a LULAC. 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 Yes, LULAC the guest we just had here. But in particularly students. Yes, uh, for the educa educational program mm -hmm. and um, scholarship funds. Scholarship funds. It means for the students who go to college. Yep. And so the money that is raised from the ticket sales will go to help students continue their education. Yes. Okay. The concert, LULAC came to you or you went to LULAC? I mean, how did you find each other to make this happen? When I knew about the organization uh, for many years, and then um, I was always impressed about all the programs they have. Yes. Um, all kind of programs for health, for financial development. And, but the, the part about uh, scholarship really touched me. Yes. Because I did several benefits before, but particularly this um, organization uh, with the scholarship funds mm -hmm. and um, uh, being me, from Argentina, sí, qué bueno. Latin American, uh -huh. um, then I decided to approach them. Um, I met the president of the local council, yes. and I said, maybe if you need the help for raising money for a scholarship, I can help. Wow. And how, I mean, the concert is coming up when? What's the date? October? October 22nd. Okay, so... When you went to them with the idea of offering your help, mm -hmm. how, how many months ago was that? Was this a year oh. in the making already? Yes, it was uh, actually May yeah. 2013. It takes, so, it takes yes, over it takes one time. year to, okay. to prepare everything. The concert in the Stern Auditorium on October 22nd, and don't worry everyone, we'll tell you how to get tickets in just a moment. You're going to play music from Latino American composers, correct? Yes. From representing what countries? Um, Brazil. Mm -hmm. Mexico, yes, Argentina, and I'm going to play a New York premiere of Albéniz, Albéniz, okay. a Spanish composer. And how do you go about deciding what music you're going to play? Bueno, that was a very um, uh, exciting thing to do because uh, since in, in 2011, uh, the concert with Latin American uh, classical music was so successful. Yes. I decided, uh, before in 2010, I decided to um, perform exclusively Latin American and Spanish composers. But then uh, being a benefit for LULAC, yes. then I thought um, how many 
composers from different countries, from Latin America, mm -hmm. and can I, Latin America, can I play? And um, particularly uh, one composer from Mexico, Dígame. Manuel Ponce. Sí. Um, I research and I found this wonderful composer uh, from the Romantic period, mm -hmm. um, which I fell in love with his music, and it, that was honoring Lula. Rosa, when you make the selections, are you, besides just trying to vary the countries yes. that are represented, mm -hmm. are you looking for different styles, one music that is more up-tempo, one that's more alegre, one mm -hmm. that's more uh, lento? I mean, you tell me how you vary the different types of styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very um, um, important question because you don't want the audience uh, to feel um, for a long time with a very slow yes, tempo, sure. and then I try to uh, alternate slow tempos and fast tempos. Sure. No? So you mix it up. Yes. All right. Sit tight. I want to ask you a few more questions about the concert, and we're going to tell people where they can buy tickets. Coming up, the details of that special Carnegie Hall benefit concert when we come back on tiempo. Sit tight. Hispanic Heritage Month with ABC7. I'm Joe Torres with Eyewitness News, and we invite you to celebrate Familia. I would tend to think and argue that especially with the... Free in Hackensack. Viva Italia with ABC7. The Columbus Day Parade. Join Joe Piscopo and Maria Bartiromo. And Eyewitness News Ken Rosato and Lisa Calagrossi. A celebration of Italian culture. Columbus Day Parade. Monday at noon on Channel 7. Sponsored by these proud partners. Welcome back. We're joined this morning by concert pianist Rosa Antonelli, who's getting ready for a very special concert at Carnegie Hall later this month. And we'll tell you how to get tickets in just a moment. Once again, it's a special benefit concert at Carnegie Hall's Stern Auditorium. It's coming up on Wednesday, October 22nd. You were telling me before mm -hmm. that in selecting the music from different countries, I would tend to think and argue that especially with the younger generation, there's a general impression que música latina es salsa, mm -hmm. merengue bachata, flamenco, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, is, is part of your reason for doing this to, to educate that música latina también is, is classical mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is very, very important to me because um, I realized that, like you, like you said, that people associate music, Latin music, yes. with uh, salsa, maram, yeah. ma merengue, ma merengue no? and then um, in this way people know that the Latin American composers, um, they are uh, very, very important as the traditional composers yes. from Europe. Mm -hmm. No? And this is very important for me to promote the Latin American classical music. I'm doing uh, lately uh, New York premieres. Sure. And that it has history, that it has culture behind it, that, that Musica Latina is not just 30 years old or 20 years mm -hmm. old, that it's hundreds of years old oh, as yes. well. Oh, yeah. um, So, and all these composers, none of them are still with us, correct? The music no that you're way. playing, they've all passed away. Yeah. Right? And most of them got the scholarships to study in Europe. Yes. And then they return to their countries and they had that mix between the, the European culture and the folklore from their country, which makes the music okay. so beautiful. And you're going to play for... Roughly 90 minutes, yes, correct? Yes. yes. With an intermission of 15, 15 minutes. 15-minute break. Mm -hmm. You can handle that, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once again, I want to remind everyone the special benefit concert at Carnegie Hall Stern Auditorium is scheduled for Wednesday, October 22nd. There it is. It happens at 8 p.m. Tickets are still available. We encourage you to go get them. They are $30 up to $105, but you can go to carnegiehall.org and get your tickets there. Lastly, before I go, I also want to give a quick thanks to the good folks at Bergen Community College. They honored me earlier this month during Hispanic Heritage Month. This is the picture we took there. Some great kids out there doing wonderful things, so thank you guys very much. Speaking of National Hispanic Heritage Month, 
It runs through October 15th. And if you want to go catch an event to sort of get in the flavor of it all, we've got a list of those events. Just go to our website at 7 online. You'll find a home link there on our home page. That's the end. Muchísimas gracias. Thanks for being with us this morning. If you missed any part of our show, you can watch it at 7 online on the web, even on your tablet or even on your smartphone. That wraps up another edition of Tiempo. I'm Joe Torres. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone.